what's up? Hey, uh, got a kind of a cool day planned today. Um, actually heading um, downtown. I'm going to do a little busking, but that's going to be a little bit later. Uh, but right now, uh, I'm actually heading to the Costco to get batteries for my amp. They have the best price on the uh, the 40 pack of the uh, the AA batteries that I use for my um, Roland uh, Cube uh, EX model. Uh, awesome amp, very cool, great busking amp. I have a uh, a little thing planned. It's a little bit of Sacramento history. I was thinking about going to um, take a walk in Midtown and. Um, check out the uh, governor's mansion. It's actually part of the California State Parks. It's an historic building and uh, I've always wanted to check it out. I've, I've always seen it, you know, driving by and stuff like that, but I never really, really checked it out, you know? So um, I was gonna um, park in Midtown there and then just kind of walk around there and then I'll, I'll head down to Old Town to, uh, to do my uh, busking. But right now I'm heading to Costco to get the, the batteries. Um, it's a different Costco than I usually go to. I'm gonna go over off of Expo. Uh, yeah, and then uh, for food today, I'm gonna get the, uh, the Costco hot dog and the uh, piece of pizza. So that'll be good. Uh, cheap lunch. And then I can head out to do my adventure for today should be a lot of fun all right stay tuned yeah the air quality is very clear today and um, I mean it's it's slightly hazy but it's oh man it's so much better than it has been uh, which is really nice that's and it's supposed to be cooler today too so that's kind of what prompted me to want to go um, do a little busking and then I was gonna you know do this vlog too um, of the governor's mansion uh, which I think is, it will be pretty cool to check out stay tuned and I'll uh, check in with you in a few minutes all right here it is pizza hot dog and soda yeah unfortunately they uh, did not have mustard they ran out so they gotta change it I think they're changing it here but I usually like mustard on my hot dogs but just got ketchup and relish and yeah, check out that price. 380. Nice. Cheap lunch. All right, got the hot dog. Mmm. So good. I like the price better, but it's still pretty good. Oh yeah. We got pizza. Nice and greasy, just like it should be. Pretty good. There it is. $16.49, so cheap. 40 pack. All right, got my batteries, I'm all set. Yeah, uh, I just thought of something. Uh, I'm gonna swing by another residence of a person that I happen to think is like the coolest person in Sacramento. Um, and uh, that residence, it was a former residence of that person. So, and, and it's not too far from the uh, the governor's mansion. So I'll, I'll actually show you that too. All right, stay tuned. Here we are at the governor's mansion. Yeah, it was built in 1877. It was owned previously by, um, owned and built, you know, by a private uh, business business owner. I believe he was a hardware store owner or something uh, early on in Sacramento, and he had it built. And then in 1903, the governor's office purchased it to be the primary residence for the governors. All right, here we are. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. Yeah, I've been by this place uh, quite a few times, you know, driving by. Never got this close to it, but uh, yeah. Yeah, supposedly it has uh, a few original, like 
things from uh, previous governors like uh, a 1902 Steinway piano and um, Governor Hiram Johnson, um, supposedly he had some uh, velvet chairs that are still in there. And there's like a Persian rug from another governor. But um, they did make it into a museum and it's it's part of the california state park i believe it's closed right now i'm going to double check it but um online it says it is closed yeah reagan uh in his tenure he he stayed in, in it for a few months and then he was one of the first governors to um actually live somewhere else you know up until reagan a lot of the governors stayed here in the in the governor's mansion uh reagan ended up leasing a house over um in the fabulous 40s district over off of uh, i believe it's like 40 45th street and then um yeah and then governors after that but he reagan did live in it for a few months um and then governors after that are um you know reagan kind of set the precedent to uh for governors to live you know somewhere else besides this this residence because i guess it wasn't wasn't really up to up to date or anything uh, a lot of the plumbing and uh stuff like that wasn't great back then um so a lot of the governors like gray davis and um I'm trying to think of some of the other ones um yeah gray davis and pete wilson and um a lot of those guys lived out in carmichael and um and then uh, Arnold, when he was in there, Arnold Schwarzenegger, he uh, he actually commuted. You know, he he had a private plane, so he commuted from Brentwood, from his house in in Brentwood, down in the L.A. area. And then it, I guess since he, you know, if there was times that he had to stay overnight and stuff like that, he would stay at the Hyatt uh, across the street from the Capitol, right there. So uh, that was uh, Arnold's. You know, of course he has a lot of money. He can he can do that kind of stuff, I guess. <laughs> But, uh, but actually the current governor, Gavin Newsom, um, lived here uh, just temporarily. I think, I wanna say maybe it was only about a month and then he um, purchased a house over in Fair Oaks area, um, Fair Oaks, Carmichael area, probably over there somewhere where a lot of the other governors have, have built houses over there and stuff. So yeah, um, very cool. I'm gonna get a few more shots, walk around the building a little bit and I'm gonna see if the museum's open too. But um, yeah, it's very cool. Yeah, it does look like there is a uh, luxury, like a motorcade vehicle there, looks like. Um, but it might be there just for show. I'm not sure if, if they uh, if they have any of the governor officials in there right now. I, I kind of doubt it, but uh, it's possible, you know. Uh, that's a pretty nice, uh, whatever that is, Chevy Tahoe or whatever. But yeah. A little bit of a another angle of it here. Yeah, here's the the gate here to allow access, and you can kind of see the top of it there. Yeah, really beautiful trees all around the property. Midtown has uh, tons of trees down here. As you can see this tree right here by the road. There's a ton of these around here. It's known for a lot of trees down here in Midtown. They call it a second empire Italian Victorian mansion. And it's 30 rooms, three stories. It was from 1967 to 2015, it uh, remained empty. Um, and then in 1970, they made it a museum, but no, no governors lived in it from 1967 to 19 or to 2015. And then um, Governor Jerry Brown actually moved back into it after it was remodeled in 2015, and that was like a, a 4.1 million dollar renovation with all the the plumbing and the electrical and the security system and all that. Yeah, during Jerry Brown's first two terms. Um, this was closed, so um, he lived over off of 14th and N, 14th and N Street in a uh, apartment over there. And they said it was kind of sparsely furnished. It was, uh, <laughs> uh, he just kind of lived simple, I guess, back then. And um, yeah, it was an apartment over off N Street. But then on his second term, um, he lived in a, uh, 
in a loft over, I think off N Street also. And then he, um, and then in 2015, once the remodel got done, the, all the renovations on this got done, it was like 4.1 million. They did a bunch of renovations to the plumbing, the electrical, the security system, uh, the fire system and all that. And then 2015, when it was finished, uh, Governor Jerry Brown and his wife moved back in for the rest of his term again in, in office. Yeah, this is kind of over on the other side of it right here. Kind of see a side view of the mansion here. Get all the way up there. Yeah, you can kind of see the the backyard here a little bit. It's not real big. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, all these beautiful trees back here. But there it is. This is the back side of the mansion here. This is about all I can see because it's got a big wall back here. Oh, very cool. This is the back side of the mansion. I love all those little fire escape ladders on there. Back on the front side. Yeah, it looks like it takes up like a, a half of a city block. It's the length of a full city block, but it takes up just half of that um, faces H Street and then there's an alley behind it and then the rest of the block is other businesses and stuff like that the side area where they would come in that gate and then probably just drop the governor off right there all right these are the steps this is the gate we'll kind of get one last look here of the uh, the mansion Governor's Mansion. Very awesome. Seen it a million times driving by it, but just never been this close to it. And uh, just thought I'd kind of get some video footage of it, make a little vlog about it. Yeah, very cool. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, that was fun, man. Uh, checking out that, that Governor's Mansion. You know, now I'm now I'm heading down to that other residence I was telling you about. I'll be there in just a, it's just a few blocks away. Yeah, I just love these streets in Midtown. This is this is H Street here. Just love all these trees. All right, we are here. Twenty one eighteen H Street. Probably, in my opinion, the coolest guy in Sacramento. He always tries to spread joy and positivity. He's a mediocre musician but a musician nonetheless. And this was his residence from early 1995 to about January of 1997. And of course the person I'm talking about <laughs> is myself. This was actually my residence here. Like I said, from uh, early 1995 to um, late 96 almost 97 i think i moved out in january of 97 but man had a had such a great time living here it was just a little studio apartment i think i paid 335 a month um a few of my friends lived down off g street like 13th and g um it was in early 20s you know i was playing in bands um playing the hogshead brew pub a lot and uh Fox and Goose and a few other places. It was really a great time living down here. It was a little bit better entrance view. I lived upstairs. Upstairs all the way to the end. There's, I believe that was my air conditioner right there in that big window and then the bathroom window. Yeah, upstairs. I forgot the number of the uh, the apartment number. I want to say maybe it was C. I can't remember exactly. But yeah, there it is. Yeah, I just wanted to swing by here. I haven't been by this place in so long. Um, yeah, we actually parked in the back. All the residents could park in the back. It was a gated parking area in the back. Um, although I do recall that my truck got broken into a few times even in the gated area, <laughs> which was... Uh, and back then, you know, Midtown wasn't the most desirable place to live now it's it's extremely desirable and it's very expensive to live down here 
and people, you know, want to live down here. You know, back then it was just more of a economical situation for me because the rent was so cheap. It was a studio. That's all I needed was a studio apartment. And, um, you know, it, it worked out so great for me at that time. And, uh, but yeah, back then, that's why the rents were so cheap down here is it's about the only place you could get cheap rent back then and 335 a month. Heck, that's, that's nothing. They probably rent these for probably 1500 at least, at least 12 to 1500. But anyway, all right, well, let's say goodbye to my old residence and let's go do some busking in old Sacramento. Talk to you soon. today all right what a great day what a beautiful beautiful weather hope you enjoyed this vlog on uh, the, the governor's mansion I hope you enjoyed seeing my midtown apartment and uh, some busking today yeah I had a great time it was a lot of fun uh, please subscribe to my channel also check out the video right here uh, for more busking adventures from me and until next time have a good one see you later